Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brew to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. Uh, never gonna find that dog. Oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Sean. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Brown, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Sir? Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh, my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Codsworth, stay safe, buddy. And your family as well, sir? Oh, my. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are... Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! with you and Mrs. Back. Where is your better half, by the by? They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them, armed, wearing strange outfits. <clears throat> Only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume, more than a week early. I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ha <laughs> ha, not like this family, sir. 
You and the missus have always been such a responsible couple. Oh, where is she, by the by? She's... in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Why, the, the missus had him last, remember? Oh, perhaps she's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure she'll be back with him momentarily. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Two hundred years? What? Are you...? A, a bit over two hundred and ten, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little, for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. What? Food? Uh, yeah, sure, I... I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Ah, here you are, sir. Now, I've been thinking, if something is amiss, your loved ones may simply be hiding from the Red Menace. The Red Menace? Why, the Communists, of course. The Russians and the Chinese. Codsworth, buddy. I don't think the Reds are going to be a problem anymore. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. After all, the Mrs. and young Sean, they're... they're my family, too. Codsworth, are you sure you're holding up okay? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first... Ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car, how do you polish rust? What do you know, Codsworth? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A hollow tape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that Pip-Boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. 
proud to serve, sir. What's all this, then? Not this time. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are mm, as put together as I am. I like these people already. Oh, good. Maybe you'll get along then, and they can help you find young Sean. I shall remain here and secure the home. Mr. Brown, welcome back, sir. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. How were things here while I was gone? Oh, just catching up on old yard work. Some occasional pest control. And you, sir? Anything to be found in Concord? You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed... I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Would you like to? As you wish, sir. I'd like to trade some items. Of course. Mother Nature never ceases to amaze. Through all the post-war devastation, the sunrise is still quite impressive. What's up, Codsworth? Shall I accompany you, sir? Yes, of course. Lead the way, sir. Not to worry there, pup. Your master is in good hands. <laughs> 